So you want to rank your website at the top of Google. I hate to break it to you, it is very hard to do it nowadays. In fact, if you don't watch this video to the very end, I guarantee you won't even get on the front page, let alone rank at the top. What's going on guys? My name is Franklin and in today's video, I'm going to show you five powerful tips that you can implement right now so you can ensure that you get on the front page of Google and rank at the top. Now, when it comes to ranking websites, guys, a lot of people are still stuck in the old ages. They think that all they need to do is stuff their pages with keywords, spam their pages with backlinks, and they're going to rank at the top. This does not work anymore. In fact, if you keep doing this, you are damaging your site and it will never ever rank. So right now we're going to jump into these five tips and let's start with number one. And this is probably one of the most important ones. If you don't get this right, you have no chance of ranking. So number one on our list guys is website speed. And this includes hosting. If you can get in a hosting plan that is faster than your competitors, you have a better chance of ranking. Now Google has a lot of ranking factors, but this is one of the critical ones from 2019 and onwards. And I've tested this myself. What you want to do is make sure you can get on a hosting plan that has a first byte of at least 200 milliseconds or less. If you can get it under one millisecond, you're even doing better. Another thing that slows websites down guys more than anything is images. What you want to do before you upload any images to your website is go to a website called Tiny png.com. Once you're on this website, simply upload the images that you want to upload to your website before you upload them to your website. And tinypng.com is going to compress them from about 30% to 50%. So you have literally just cut the size of those images in half. And that is going to drastically increase the speed of your website instantly. And it is something that, that you can do for free. It is a simple tweak that you should be doing on your website anyway to help user experience. This is the critical step that you need to do before starting your website. You need to have good hosting and you need to make sure you are uploading optimized proper images that are going to work for Google and your users. Number two guys on our list is content and UE. UE stands for user engagement. The number one thing you want to do out of these two guys is have content that is long, that is engaging. You want to have videos on it, you want to have images, you want to break up the text. Breaking up the text is quite important because if someone goes to your site and all they can see is text and they keep reading text, they're going to get sick of it. Psychologically, humans, especially in today's day and age, we want to see images and videos and we want to interact with things when we go to a website. If you go and look at the keyword that you're trying to rank for right now, you will have competitors that have images and videos because they work. User, um, user experience is really critical now because this is one of the major ranking factors in Google. And if you don't have a good user experience on your website, you simply won't rank. And that comes down to a lot of things. Your competitors are probably better than you and Google just won't like your content because it doesn't have a good user experience. So here's a quick tip. What you want to do is you want to go and find the keyword you're trying to rank for and you want to go and get all of the top 10 competitors. You want to check out their websites. You want to get the average word count of their content and you want to be around about that or more than that. Okay. So if the average word count is a thousand, you want to be around about a thousand, 1200 or 1500. You want to have better content that the competitors have and you you want to have a better user experience than them because then Google will start to love you more and Google will start to put you up in the ranks above your competitors. The best way to do that is to break up your text with images and videos or just images if you don't have a video. And this helps the user experience because when you have images, it stops them from scrolling and they check it out and then they keep scrolling and they keep scrolling and this, it's like a break in the text to get them engaged in your content. Now, step number three, guys, is so important and everybody always gets this wrong. Everybody always tries to rank for the most competitive keywords. For example, I get a lot of my students who are like, hey, I want to rank for, for example, how to make money online. You're never ever going to rank for that because it's so competitive. So what you would want to do is a long tail keyword. So you would want to target how to make money online quickly or for free with Facebook. How to make money online for free with Pinterest. You see, it's a long tail keyword. So what you want to do is you want to put that in your title. You want to put that in your content. So let's say you have a content of a thousand words. You want to put how to make money for free on Pinterest, at least one or twice in that article. Don't overdo it. Google is smart enough to figure out what is what, but you want to have your long tail keywords in your content. If you go and try and rank for jobs, for example, like there's one word I want to rank for jobs you were probably never going to rank for that because there's so much competition and you are wasting your time if you try to rank for that
that. So you want to make sure you get your keywords correct before you try and rank anything, because if you don't, you will not rank and you're going to be wasting your time. So number three, guys, is critical. Uh, long tail keywords. You want to go and invest in a good keyword software or even use the Google Planner, which is free, and go and find these long tail keywords. These software will spit out these keywords for you so they will literally do all the work for you and you can find long tail keywords to go and rank your websites in Google. Now, the traffic is going to be lower. However, you can, do, you can always do more content and target longer tail keywords. The thing is, if you try and go rank for how to make money online, you have one shot. You're probably going to mess it up because because it's very competitive. If you go rank for how to make money online with Facebook, how to make money online with Google, how to make money online with Pinterest, you have way more options, you have way more keywords to target, and you can create more content, bringing in more traffic in the long run, guys. Keywords are critical. You need to do the right keywords. Long tail keywords, not sure if you can see that, but long tail keywords are what you're gonna be targeting, at least when you start out. Once your website gets more authority, guys, then you can start trying to rank for harder keywords. Number four, guys, is another massive one going from 2019 and beyond. It wasn't so important a few years ago, but what we call CTR, click-through rate. You have to make a good impression when somebody searches a keyword. So for example, let's search how to do DIY cleaning at home or something. I don't know, I just think off the top of my head. You want to make sure you have a good title that has your keyword in it and a good meta description, but you also want to make it clickable. Not clickbaity, but kind of clickbaity so you get the click and it all flows. So you want to get the click, then you want to go back to the content and you want to have engaging content and you want to keep that person on your website as long as possible so it all flows nicely. But it all starts with the search results and that, that starts with the click-through rate. Now once your website has been up for a while, guys, you can go into the webmasters dashboard or console and you can actually see your click-through rate and you can see what kind of keywords you're showing up for. So what I recommend you do is take some of those keywords and sprinkle them into your content so then you'll start getting more clicks and start ranking for those particular keywords as well. And once you boost up your overall click-through rate on your website, it does take time, Google will start to eventually go, hey, people are loving Franklin's new website, we're gonna start putting it higher in the search results for different random keywords on your website or on your blog post or on your affiliate website or whatever you're trying to rank. So click-through rate, guys, is a very critical step that you need to make sure you are optimizing consistently to get that click-through rate up so you can get to the front page or even to the top of Google. Now, number five, guys, is actually my favorite because I love doing this, I'm very good at it, but once again, a lot of people don't understand and they rush and they mess things up. They go do all the work of one, two, three, four, and they mess up this entire section here. But don't be fooled, guys, this isn't hard, this is super easy. I'm not sure if you can see this, but I will pronounce them when we get to them. Next stage, once you've set everything up and you're ready to go, you wanna do what we call backlinks. But guys, this is critical. You want to do it naturally. Google wants to see a natural backlink profile. If you go and spam your website with crappy backlinks, you are going to waste all that other work you did because Google's gonna be like, no thanks, and they're gonna push you down the rankings. So what do you do, guys? Well, you think to yourself, what happens to a brand new website when they have no authority, no backlinks? Well, number one, what do they do? They start creating social profiles. That is the first thing you want to do. You want to create some social profiles and start linking back to random pages on your website and do some sharing because that's what Google expects to do because that's the first thing a brand new website is going to do, guys. You see where I'm going with this? And then once you have some social profiles set up, go and do some blog comments because Google's going to expect you to go and engage with other blogs. That's what they expect of you. They expect a natural velocity of action and a natural velocity of backlinks coming in so you can, so they can be like, okay, yeah, this site's doing good, doing good, they're doing everything right and puts you up in the rankings. Once you've done blog comments, guys, and there's more you can add as well, you can go do forum comments because Google's like, okay, these guys are now interacting in forums, sharing their information. Okay, we're gonna start putting them up in the ranks a little bit more, and now they're building up some, you know, this big spider web of links on Google, okay? So these are kind of like the, the, the first three that I would recommend you do. Then, once you've got all these blog comments and social profiles and all these kind of weak links going at the top, eventually, a couple of months later, you wanna start doing stronger 
backlinks. So go onto YouTube and all that sort of stuff and learn how to do private blog networks if you want to do that or guest posting. Just strong backlinks that you can actually use to go and rank your website in the top of Google. Now if you want a more in-depth tutorial guys on how to actually do this, I'm going to leave a video right here that you can click on right now and you can go through to that video and I'll take you through step by step on how to rank your websites on Google. And don't forget to subscribe, tap that notification bell, drop a like on this video if it helped you understand how to rank in Google better and faster and leave a comment below and let me know what are you struggling with with ranking on Google and I'll try and help you out and give you some advice.